In Kentucky, we often hear about sex trafficking around derby time. But experts know it's not just happening that one weekend, but every day. LAX 18's Carolina Buczek is digging into just how big the problem is in the bluegrass. She tells us what she uncovered, plus how the state is using research and a big grant to protect Kentucky kids. All trafficking is evil, is wrong, it's modern day slavery. But it's still happening every day and not just in other parts of the world. It's happening here in America. And yes, even right here in Kentucky. It is a difficult and often dark world. And the things that happen to some of our kids not only bring tears to our eyes, but keep us up at night. Today, Governor Andy Bashir said the state will be using a $1 million federal grant to fight human trafficking, especially child trafficking in Kentucky. How exactly? Well, the University of Louisville Human Trafficking Research Initiative spent two years on Project Pivot, researching trafficking and figuring out how to stop it. And the information they found is troubling. The majority of the time, the crime of child trafficking isn't being carried out necessarily, primarily by strangers passing through our towns. It's really happening at the hands of people in our community that we know, live next to, or interact with. The team looked at almost 700 cases of child trafficking between 2013 and 2018. What they found is that 60% of them involve family control trafficking. That's parents or primary caretakers selling sexual access to their child in exchange for money, drugs, and other things. And it's here in Kentucky. Eileen Levy is not surprised by the information in the study. She's the executive director of the Well of Lexington, a group that helps women and children exploited by sex trafficking. And she knows what's happening in Kentucky's communities. Locally, familial trafficking is the most common form, which is where families are selling their children, nieces, nephews. And she has some scary news for parents. Any child with a smartphone can easily be approached by a trafficker. They go through apps, they get to know their child, that coercion part, they're master manipulators. They're going to be that boyfriend, that friend, wait for you know, the person to get in a fight with, the, with their base, like the support system, and they get them away from the support system. It's very easily done. Project Pivot's research also found that 90% of child trafficking cases had prior child welfare involvement. That means there's a way the state can intervene. So the grant Kentucky received will do several things, like create an advisory council, launch a screening tool to identify high-risk kids, and hire a child protection specialist. All of this in hopes to save Kentucky's kids. In Lexington, Carolina Butrack, LXCT News. Nationally, there are more than 11,000 cases reported to the human trafficking hotline each year involving people of all ages. We went through the data and found that where there is a larger population, you have more cases of human trafficking. Now, this graphic shows the top five states for human trafficking cases reported in 2019. California led the way with more than 1,500 cases reported. Texas, Florida, New York, and Ohio rounded out the top five. Well, putting this into a regional context, Kentucky has the second lowest number of cases reported, being ahead of West Virginia by more than triple. Illinois reporting the most number of cases for our area in 2019. They had 267. Missouri was close behind with 233. Virginia, Tennessee, and Indiana, as you can see, are in the middle of that group. And experts say you can play a big role in saving people from trafficking. Just being alert and reporting something suspicious can help. On LEX18.com, we have tips on how to recognize potential threats.